Hope the next match lives up to the hype of the rest of the card. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. Hell in a Cell is next. Ladies and gentlemen, in a few short moments, we will witness Hell on Earth, and it won't be pretty. I can tell you that. In a match for the record books. Get ready, because in Hell in a Cell, just about anything goes. Making his way to the ring from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 240 pounds, Sam Mann. Plenty of action coming up as we have six of WWE's top names ready to go here. Oh man, Michael, six-man matches like this always remind me of world class back in the 1980s. And his opponents, first, from New York, 
Weighing in at 220 pounds, the Nightmare. And it's now time, ladies and gentlemen, for our historic six-man Hell in a Cell match. Historic is right. And I think it's worth mentioning that the first time we saw six superstars all squaring off inside Hell in a Cell was all the way back in December of 2000 at Armageddon. And of course, quick thank you to everybody watching tonight for spending part of your Halloween with us. And I can see that Saxton got dressed up for the occasion. I didn't realize they made nerd costumes. From Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 220 pounds, Chris Ben Watt. It's gut check time, guys, as we get ready for hell in a cell. I don't know about you, Michael, but I'm thinking about climbing under the desk and taking shelter. Byron, I gotta say, you seem like you're ready to jump out of your seat in anticipation for this one. Yeah, it's either excitement or there's actually a good chance I ate too much Halloween candy. I can't tell.
from Austin, Texas. Weighing in at 275 pounds, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. I'd like to thank everybody for spending a portion of their Halloween with us here tonight. Next year, guys, I'm thinking the three of us should come in a theme costume. Perhaps the fabulous Freebirds or, dare I say, the Wyatt family. I will never dress up with you. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Hell in a cell. And guys, wow. you can almost literally feel the electricity in the air for this Hell in a Cell match. Power slam. Good night. Ooh. Oh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. to the outside. He's positioned up on that turnbuckle. I would not want to be him right now. Haymaker connects. Beautiful technique. This might be it. Oh, my. His shoulders are down. And there's a kick out at one. Not yet. Hammerlock applied. Oh, no, no. Uh-oh. Vicious strike. Harsh impact. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Oh, the face. Guys, we've come a long way since the first ever WWE pay-per-view, which was actually the wrestling classic in November of 1985. I know a lot of people usually point to WrestleMania 1 as the first WWE pay-per-view, but that was actually broadcast over closed-circuit TV, not pay-per-view. <laughs> you gotta believe this one's over. Byron digging into his encyclopedic mind to earlier to pull out that amazing factor of the first WWE pay-per-view. As he said, it was the wrestling classic in the feature of the 16-man tournament, which was ultimately won by the Junkyard Dog. Looking for the exclamation point. Look at this. He let it go. Curious decision there, Michael. And there's his speed paying off. Oh, nasty impact. Years later, I still get goosebumps when I watch a WWE pay-per-view. It takes me back to when I was a kid. My friends would come over to watch WrestleMania or SummerSlam. No reverses it. this arena tonight, there appear to be plenty of youngsters in attendance who will undoubtedly look back at this night with great fondness, much like Byron did when he watched WWE pay-per-views in his youth. Don't sleep on the true headline of Saxon's little antidote there, Cole. He actually said he had friends come over to his house. I think we're going to need to fact-check that one, because I'm not buying it. He's looking a little off balance. He doesn't want to let this match get out of control, guys. At the risk of sounding like a fanboy, guys, I... Uh-oh. No, he lets him out. Yeah, I think he knew he wasn't going to get the submission there. Avoids trouble there. Nailed it. 
showing off some of his speed there. Harsh impact. You're absolutely right, Byron. This is without a doubt one of the most stacked pay-per-view cards we've had in recent memory. I'd say it's reminiscent of No Mercy in 2007, which featured big-time matches one night after the other. Good call, Cole. That was an absolutely huge night, complete with a new WWE champion being crowned an amazing three different times. Oh, guys, there's... He's going for the pin. He got body on body there, but that's about it. Remarkable. Guys, there's something special about competing on a WWE pay-per-view event. Sure, having a match on Raw or SmackDown is absolutely amazing, but there's nothing quite like the bright lights of a WWE pay-per-view. On, he dodges out of the way. I agree with your earlier point, Michael. There's nothing like the bright lights on the W. Going for it all here. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Oh, boy, you've got to believe this one's over. Can he end it here? Beautiful technique. Wow. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Oh, boy, he is rolling. When this guy's on, look out. What a great combo. What a maneuver. Wow, a discus clothesline. That should do it. Oh, no. We know what this is. Oh, what impact. He's back in control here. Incoming. An incredible combination. This one is over. Is that enough for the win? And he got a near fall out of it. Wow. <laughs> there he goes, crashing to the floor. A striking blow. He's on his heels. He needs to find a way to get on the offensive, guys. Look out, there he goes. No, he's got him covered. And an early kick out. It's way too early. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. There may be no escaping this fireman's carry. I don't know. Never say never, Cole. Down to the floor. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Oh, right to the back. That's how you put an exclamation. He goes for the cover. That could have been it right there. This might be it. Oh, my. Lightning fast reflexes. A striking blow. What a strike. He thinks he has it. What a punch. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. DDT. Can he finish him off here? Oh, his shoulders are down. There he goes, crashing to the floor. He has something big planned. This could be big. This is not where you want to be. What a stop. Good grief. Not so fast. Here he goes. He's in full control now. This one is over. Can he do it here? Max Randall finds the mark. Yes! Takes it! These guys feel no love for each other. Here's another look. Who could forget this? Yeah, he's putting in the work. Check this out. And finally... Here is your winner, Chris Benoit. Big win despite absorbing a huge amount of punishment there. 
That's a big win any day of the week, on any show, in any arena, Michael. Thank you for tuning in tonight, folks. We hope you enjoyed that great match.